if you only care about maximizing your fps then just put everything on low and overclock your pc but the goal of today's video is to maximize your fps while keeping the game looking good so here's some benchmarks i took on the map hotel as you can see i was averaging 302 fps and then after i got my pc overclocked i was getting 345 fps i didn't do the overclocking myself the guys over at fps hub did that for me and they also noticed that my ram was a little lackluster so they recommended new ram for me and then they tuned that as well and as you can see here after they did that i ended up with 395 average fps meaning i gained almost 100 average fps and they can do that for you too just go to fpshub.org and you can use code websy for 30 dollars off until august 20th and after august 20th you'll still get a discount but it just won't be nearly as much but let's get into the best settings for season 5 of warzone i'll be honest there for virtually the same but there is a few changes so starting here under display i recommend you guys do play in full screen exclusive as that does give you the least amount of input lag possible and then double check here that your screen refresh rate is set to the highest number available here and also double check that your display resolution is set to your correct resolution and then scrolling down make sure that both vsync options are turned off this does fix screen tearing as i always say but it adds a lot of input lag it's not worth it eco mode we want this turned off and then scrolling down to display gamma put this on 2.2 and then brightness i mean that's self-explanatory guys just put this slider to make it so this middle box here is barely visible and then that's about it for the display tab under the quality tab we want to make sure our render resolution is set to 100 and then our upscaling is set to fidelity fx cast and then click show more here and then i personally set the strength to 80. the strength here is adjusting how sharp your game will look so this will vary between monitors but on my monitor 80 looks good the higher the number the sharper it will be anti-aliasing you definitely want this set to smaat2x and then anti-aliasing quality set to low anti-aliasing is really gonna affect performance so we want it on the lower settings and then video memory scale i have set to 80 here and then texture resolution we have set to normal as well as texture filter anisotropic and then nearby and distant level of detail we want these both set to low clutter draw distance putting this on long will Will affect your fps but if you do switch this to short here what's going to happen is you're going to notice objects in the distance kind of popping in as you're getting closer to them which can be a bit distracting and it's not all that pleasing to the eye and then particle quality we have this set to high and then particle quality level we want set to very low so on the right side here you can see the particle quality resolution is very high it looks really good so putting this on high is making that resolution look good and then the particle quality level is making it so we have less particles which will improve our fps while keeping the resolution of the particles in a higher quality bullet impacts we have this turned on persistent damage layers we want turned on as well shader quality this is a big performance hog i noticed i have this set to low i tested out medium because i wanted to see how much better the game looked with it at medium and what i noticed is i actually lost 30 fps now if you do change this setting you will have to restart your game so do keep that in mind and then tessellation and on-demand texture streaming we want both of these turned off streaming quality we have this set to normal volumetric quality set to low deferred physics quality turned off and water quality set to default scrolling down a bit here shadow map resolution resolution i have set to very low now i know some of you guys might be thinking well i don't want the shadows in my game to look absolutely atrocious but look at this here so this is the shadows on the highest setting extra and you know they, they look good they look sharp but when we switch it to very low you don't really notice a significant difference you're not really gonna notice this in game whatsoever but you're gonna notice a pretty significant fps boost from putting this to very low green space shadows we have turned off spot shadow quality on low spot cache on low particle lighting on low ambient occlusion is turned off screen space reflections turned off static reflection quality low weather grid volumes off and then at the very bottom here we want all this stuff turned off this is all just going to affect your visibility in the game moving over to the view tab here field of view i mean personal preference i play at 120 and then make sure ads field of view is set to affected this is going to just help recoil control just immensely weapon field of view and vehicle vehicle field of view this doesn't really matter too much if you put it on wide your gun will look smaller so i guess you can technically see a little bit more around you but i just i don't like the way it looks then first person and third person camera movement we want this on least you don't want
want your camera shaking all over the place. That's just going to make it harder to see enemies in the game. Moving over to audio here. Now, the best audio mix is PC, and I just set my master volume to 50 so my ears aren't getting blasted out. And then here's what I use here. So gameplay music volume, we want this set all the way down so you don't have distracting music playing in the background when you're trying to listen for footsteps in game. And I turn dialogue volume down to 50% as well so the operators aren't just screaming full blast in my ear and being distracting. But it's very important that effects volume is at 100 because this is going to affect the audio of footsteps. Remember when I mentioned FPS hub at the beginning of the video? Well, they actually have a guy who can EQ and just optimize your audio perfectly for this game to make it a lot easier to hear footsteps. So if that's something you're interested in, go to fpshub.org. And just a reminder, you can use code WEBSY over there for a discount. And then scrolling down to the bottom of the audio tab here, you're going to see reduced tinnitus sound. You want to turn this on. What this is going to do is make it so when you get flash banged or stunned, that loud ringing sound that happens isn't, isn't going to happen anymore. It's just going to be a lot more pleasant to get flash banged. <laughs> Let's go over the interface settings now. So you're going to want to click on color customization and switch color filter to filter two, color filter target the both and put the intensity for both of these up to 100. Now this in combination with the Nvidia control panel color settings I'm going to give you is going to make the game just look incredible and make your visibility so much better. But let's back out of that here and roll on down to vertical and horizontal HUD bounds. I like to turn these all the way down. So my HUD is squeezed in closer to the center of my screen. So it's easier to see my mini map, my teammates, and just everything that's normally far into the corners is going to be squeezed closer to the center. So it's easier to see. This is personal preference, but I definitely recommend trying it out. And then you'll see crosshairs down here. I recommend setting this to static so your crosshairs aren't bobbing all over the place and then a little further down here you're going to see center dot so i like to turn this on and set center dot scale to larger so it adds a center dot to the middle of my crosshairs so i know exactly where the center of my screen is at all times it just makes centering in game a little bit easier and scrolling down here to telemetry i set this to custom and show more and this is how you can get your fps counter server latency all that type of stuff in the top left hand corner of your screen and then at the very bottom of interface you're gonna see skip introduction movie i highly recommend turning that on so you don't have to deal with that annoyingness every time you open the game but that's it for in-game settings let's go over all the windows settings the most important window setting is probably hardware accelerated gpu scheduling and to find that just go to your search bar and type in game and you're gonna see game mode settings there so click on it and it'll bring this menu up so i do have game mode turned on but on the right side here you're gonna see graphic settings so click on that and then you're gonna see hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Now you want to turn this off for Call of Duty. For whatever reason, you actually lose FPS by having this turned on in COD, which is odd because this setting is supposed to improve your performance and it does in the majority of games, but Call of Duty is just weird. But once you do change this setting, you will have to restart your PC. So keep that in mind. And then we're going to go back to the search bar here and we're going to type in power and you're going to see power and sleep settings. So click on that. And then on the right side here, you're going to see additional power settings and it's going to bring this up. Now, now you're going to want to change it to high performance. You might see ultimate performance, something like that, but you're going to want to check that. And if you're not seeing it, it could be hidden here under the additional plan. So just look out for that. Now let's close all of that out and go back to the search bar. And we're going to type in background and you're going to see background apps pop up. So you just want to check this off up here at the top, because if you don't do this, all these apps are going to be running in the background, just eating up resources on your PC, which is a big no, no, if you want to get more FPS in your games. And then finally, if you do use Google Chrome, open that up and click the three little dots here in the top right hand corner and click on settings. And then on the left side here in settings, you want to click on system and uncheck this here at the top where it says continue running background apps when Google Chrome is closed. If you don't do this, Google Chrome will always be running in the background, just eating up resources, which we do not want. For the Nvidia control panel, we are here under manage 3D settings. So here's all the settings I'm using using if you want to copy them down. I am kind of experimenting with them to try making everything look a little bit better. So you will notice some changes from the last video. And then let's go over to change resolution here. Just in this menu, just double check that your resolution is set correctly and that your refresh rate is set correctly here. The amount of people I've seen that are playing at 60 hertz with a 240 hertz monitor is just absurd. Now, if you know you have a high resolution monitor and you're not seeing your refresh rate here under the drop down, what's happening is you are most likely having your 
resolution set under these ultra hd options when you need your resolution to be set under the pc options here and that is why you are probably seeing the low refresh rate but then scroll down here and change this to use nvidia color settings and set the output dynamic range to full and then let's get into the color settings for warzone so here's what i like to do i like to set my gamma to 1.10 and my digital vibrance to 65 percent so the gamma what this is doing is it's making my screen brighter and darker you see that so the higher the number is the brighter my screen will be and for my monitor i found 1.10 to be the sweet spot and then digital vibrance what this is doing is it's making my monitor more saturated see how i drag it up it's more saturated i drag it all the way down it's basically black and white now the sweet spot for my monitor i found is 65 percent but you got to keep in mind everyone's monitor is different some of your monitors are going to be brighter or more saturated than mine so these settings could look like crap on your monitor so you just gotta kind of adjust these accordingly for how it looks on your monitor and i think that's about it for all the settings in this video if this helped you out please drop a like and subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys in the next video is the web base